Boom! What's going on everyone? This is Steve Larson. Welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. And today I'm going to document my journey as I create a launch campaign to launch the OfferMind Ticket Funnel. I've spent the last four years learning from the most brilliant marketers today. And now I've left my nine to five to take the plunge and build my million dollar business. The real question is, how will I do it without VC funding or debt completely from scratch? This podcast is here to give you the answer. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my online business using only today's best internet sales funnels. My name is Steve Larson, and welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. What's up, guys? Hey, so uh, we are actually in the middle of launching a launch campaign. We're actually we're using a launch campaign. Uh, one of the biggest reasons I've noticed people don't have success with this is not that their product isn't amazing or that their offer isn't good enough or the sales message isn't good enough. Though It's literally the way they bring it to market, right? You learn a lot about um, Hollywood um, or you learn a lot from Hollywood if you watch the way that they bring stuff to the market, right? When they bring their actual movies to the market. If I, if the first time I ever see a Hollywood movie or even hear about it, is the day that it releases, that's a huge failure, right? You often look at box office weekends, right? Box office weekend sales were $100 million or whatever. That would not happen if there was not a, pre a lot of pressure built up ahead of time. And so you have to understand that a, a, a marketer right at the core changes people's beliefs, but the act of marketing a lot of times is revolved around creating campaigns. And so, um, what I want to teach you real quick is what we're doing right now. Um, this is probably going to be a three-part series. Uh, right now, what I want to do is I just want to teach you what I'm doing. Um, probably the second segment, I just kind of want to document how it's going in the middle of it, which will be two days from now. And then I thought it'd be cool in a week from now to revisit this and be like, here's how it went. And here's the aftermath and what happened. And here's what I learned and what I wish I did better. And here's how it went awesome. So anyways, I, I thought that'd be the kind of a neat episode to do here. Um, and uh, hopefully incentivize you like crazy to come actually join my programs to show you that we actually do what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not just reteaching stuff that I heard from somebody else. We're actually actively pursuing this, which is very important to me. Anyway, so the first time I ever learned this strategy was from, um, is actually when I was working at ClickFunnels and uh, uh, Russell had gone and he was hanging out with Brandon Burchard. And Brandon Burchard has this thing that he calls the seven day launch. And um, it's his thing, uh, learn it from him. I'm just gonna teach you what I'm doing here. Um, and uh, it's very similar to, uh, if you guys went to Funnel Hacking Live like a couple of years ago, uh, the documentary funnels, it's very similar to that, uh, that funnel style. Um, anyway, so what this is, is what I've realized is like, if I was just to like let, like at the, at the time of this video going out, OfferMind tickets are available. So if you guys go to OfferMind.com, you guys can get tickets, okay? And it, we're expected to sell out pretty quick. I, I know a lot of people say that, but there's already more people on the waiting list than there are seats in the room. <laughs> and uh, we haven't even launched it. And I checked those numbers like a week or two ago, okay? So it, anyway, I'm very psyched about it. This is exciting stuff. Um, but anyways, go to OfferMind.com and see if there are any available. Uh, and then... What I started realizing though is like if I just if I just you know back to the Hollywood thing if I just said hey it's available like that's very anticlimactic and uh, I don't want it to be that way. Um, marketers are kind of event throwers and uh, whether physical or not, I'm not saying like you have to throw an offermind event to be a marketer. That's not what I'm saying at all. Meaning that they're very good at creating pressure in certain scenarios and then releasing it in a single direction, right? And that's a lot of power. And so I started. What happened was we were over at. Um, we were over at Jeff Walker's launch event and uh, it was cool. It was, it was fun to go check it out. And uh, I got so excited just during the first half of the first day because um, honestly, it's a, I love Jeff Walker's stuff. He's super cool, um, love his strategies and such. But I was like, why don't we launch OfferMind tickets? And so I was thinking through like different campaigns I know have worked really, really well. So I decided like, well, why don't I use that seven day launch one that uh, works really, has worked really, really well. In fact, my first, let me get it real quick here. I got, I got this, right? Because of the funnel I'm about to show you. Um, and this is for a project for Russell specifically, but, but the first, you know, anyway. This is, this is for that first um, uh, Two Comic Club coaching program, um, which I developed you know, the content for. Or I should say organize the content. It's, still, it's Russell's stuff. Um, I just organized it a little bit. Um, anyway, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you the campaign and this is what we're doing here. So each of these videos, I'm gonna keep them kind of short so you guys can see kind of what we're doing and I can document it throughout and then it's not this gigantic podcast episode, okay? So what we're doing is this, right? The seven day launch kind of looks like this. Uh, so right now as I'm recording this, it's Tuesday. Yesterday was the first time we started promoting it. So what happens is, let me just make sure you can see it here. Now, if you guys are on iTunes or whatever, it, there's gonna be a few things I'm sure as we move forward, it would be advantageous to watch some of this probably on YouTube. Uh, if you guys go to salesfunnelradio.tv, it'll take you directly to the YouTube channel, salesfunnelradio.tv. Uh, but uh, anyways, I'm just gonna draw this and kind of walk through it as we go. Um, here, so Monday, right? Uh, let me just kind of draw out the days here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I love Jeff Walker. The only the only thing that has been hard sometimes about some of the things I've learned from him is that, like the book launch was amazing. It was it was it was literally launch plus dot com secrets that actually got me finally having having success, um, which is a big lesson because I learned about funnels and launching rather than product creation. Like my products were already good. A lot of times your products they're already good. It's just that you don't have a launch mechanism and then you don't understand what a funnel really is. Um, and so that's why you don't make a lot of money, right? So it has nothing to do with the product most of the time. That's why I keep bring, coming back to that. So study, like one of the things I've been studying a lot lately is launch campaigns. I love Frank Kern's most recent book called Convert because that's what he talks about. He's like, these are campaigns and I believe the campaign is dying. And I was like, I do too. I've said that on this show. Anyway, uh, people are forgetting what it is. So anyways, there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that goes down to the bottom. Perfect. All right, it's perfect. Okay, so what we're doing is, um, in fact, you guys could probably go check out the page now. I'm sure I'll leave it up. Um, by the time this episode goes out, this will be done. I already have done all this. Um, if you guys go to offermindmasterclass.com, I'm saying a lot of resources on this episode, but it's just so I can kind of document this. Um, so I'll spend, I'm just gonna spend like four or five minutes here just teaching you the strategy on a high, kind of a high level. If you really wanna go deep with it, go learn it from Brandon Bouchard. But uh, this is what we're pulling off and I thought it'd be kind of neat to share it with you. So. Um, what I did is I created a single page um, funnel. It's literally one page, well, it's, it's second page because there's a share element in it, but you don't actually need that. Um, uh, the first time we, we created, the first time I built one of those was for the Expert Secrets Masterclass. Um, ExpertSecretsMasterclass.com was what we had built. It, it's down now, you know, um, pretty much everything's hidden on the page. But um, what was cool though is like, I, I started learning all these different things. Like I was watching, Jeff Walker, and what was interesting at Jeff Walker's event, he has three days to go in and you know, eventually he sells you into his LaunchCon um, program. And uh, we went over there because we wanted to see more of how he's actually running the program, stuff like that. And um, you know, because I'm a funnel hacker as well, I, we bought it and uh, so we can see more about his program and such. But what was fascinating to me is the first half, we're sitting there, it was in, uh, it was in Arizona, it was in Phoenix, um, at a Sheridan down there. And uh, what's interesting is the, the first half of the first day, Jeff did nothing but pre-frame the entire crowd. I didn't know you could pre-frame that long, okay? It was actually, frankly, very impressive. I took two full pages of notes of watching what he was doing for like two or three hours. I mean, he did nothing. He said the entire first session was just pre-framing. That was it, like, pfft, it was nuts, crazy nuts. And so I was thinking about this, like, well, my OfferMind event is a two-day thing. I don't have the luxury of spending half of a day pre-framing. So what if I was to use this seven-day launch strategy to not only launch the tickets, but also to serve as a pre-frame? So that's what we've been doing. That's what we're doing now. So um, anyway, so I built, I was like, whoa, there was an Expert Secrets Masterclass that we used as a seven day launch. Why don't I have an OfferMind Masterclass? So that's why it's OfferMindMasterclass.com. So on day, like this first day here, right? It doesn't take long to build these, right? Uh, you just build the page, it's a single page. I added a second simply because I was uh, putting a share element in there from UpViral. Um, so I built the page and then promoted. Right, my goal is to have 2,000 people registered with this. At the time, right now, we've only, I've only done like uh, really one email drop and one Facebook Live. There's about uh, about 700 people now that are registered, which is great. So I have the rest of this day to keep promoting, which is what I'm going to do. And and I think we should hit the 2,000. Um, anyway, uh, today, promote, right? Promote. Then what we're doing tomorrow, Wednesday, and you know it doesn't have to be these days, but what we're doing tomorrow is at at 
it was about a week and a half ago, I did an ask campaign and I asked everybody in the audience on the science of selling dot online. If you go to the science of selling dot online, um, so it's the science of selling dot online. It'll take you over to the group. And I asked the group, what do you struggle with when you're creating an offer? I had no idea how reactive that would be. There was 150 comments like boom and huge, awesome sample data, right? And I had no idea some of the things you guys have been struggling with with offer creation is the things you've been struggling with. And I'm like, oh snap, uh, it's been really helpful. So what I did is I took the top five topics, okay? Um, and, and I said, okay, Wednesday, 10 a.m., we're gonna do session number one. Uh, so that's tomorrow, right? Session number two is gonna be at 2 p.m. That's session number two. And then session number three is the exact same thing, 10 a.m. Okay, I'll come back to session four because that's not actually what's in session four, right? But it's still 2 p.m. Okay, session number five, right? Same thing, 10 a.m. And then the next session is at 2 p.m. And what this is, is my pitch is, come watch me as I film my next course live, okay? So in front of a live audience, I'm gonna film my next course called OfferMind Masterclass. And it is in, is answering a lot of the questions that, that everybody's been having as they've gone through last year's event recordings, right? Last year's OfferMind event recordings. And so that's what's been powerful about this is that it's not like, this is not a top level kind of ask campaign anymore. This is a, uh, it's getting more detailed. People are like, hey, about this scenario, where does that work? And I'm like, it's a good question. And you're not the first to ask that. You know, I should, I should, I didn't, I didn't realize that was a general question. I have the answer, here's the answer, right? And so anyway, uh, so, so that's what we've been doing is these five sessions right here, I'm just teaching. I'm teaching and I'm teaching and I'm teaching answering questions, right? And I already have content planned out. It's not just a straight ask campaign styled course. I already know what I'm gonna teach, but because of the ask campaign, it validated and helped fill in holes that I wasn't thinking about, okay? So that, that's basically what we've done. So session one, two, and three, I'm breaking down a lot of, oh, right? Vehicle, internal, and external related beliefs. And then here, session number four, guess what it's gonna be? It's gonna be a whiteboard webinar. What's it gonna sell? Offermind. You see what I'm saying? I'm using this campaign structure to launch the next thing in the funnel. And, um, uh, or sorry, the next thing in my value ladder, which is Offermind. I believe everybody should come to Offermind. It'll shortcut tons of stuff in your life. Okay, and so, um, uh, this here is a, here's a webinar. And the webinar is, uh, it's, not a, it's not a traditional webinar. I'm gonna do it straight off this whiteboard. Okay, there's no slides, nothing else. When I'm, do, I'm gonna do a webinar and there's actually an offer that I created around getting a general ticket for OfferMind. Well, I'm just gonna take that offer and that's what's gonna be on this whiteboard and I'm gonna go sell. So it's really fascinating because this is like, this is like, it's, it's a live class meets a webinar funnel because what happens afterwards, after the webinar, as I tell them, if you want this course that you've seen me go through, now I'm gonna teach a long time, okay? Part of the strategy is that people are not gonna be able to be on the whole time with me. I'm going three days teaching almost six hours each day, okay? It's a lot, it's a lot of content. It's gonna be a lot for me, but like, I, it's gonna be barely enough time for me to teach the things that I want to, uh, which is fine. Right? And I understand that people are not gonna be able to be on the whole time. Right? I'm not gonna sell this in, in other places right? Th that I'm gonna tell them about for a long time. This will probably be an upsell in other places. I'll probably sell for like you know, three or $400 um, as, an, as, like, as an OTO, as an upsell in other low end funnels. But it's not gonna be something that I sell in other places. But my pitch will be, go get OfferMind and get this course for free. Only until right, Monday at midnight. So I, Sunday's the last day it shows right here, but it's gonna be Monday at midnight. Okay. Midnight. So what this turns into is after the webinar, the sessions are still gonna be sessions around what they've asked. But what it's actually gonna be is I will, the stories that I tell will help to break additional vehicle, right, vehicle internal and external related false beliefs with reminders Hey, if you, again, if you want the course you're seeing me go through right now, you can get it. Uh, recordings are not gonna be available. Uh, there's no replays. The replays get taken down each day at midnight. So they can watch it till midnight on Wednesday and then it all gets taken down. And then I'm gonna go start again. They can watch it all till um, 
Thursday at midnight, then it all gets taken down. Friday until midnight, then it all gets taken down. And I'm telling him at the end of that, like, look, like each session will probably be about two to three hours. Okay, it's gonna be a long time, but it's gonna be some of the best stuff. And it will be an abbreviated offer mind. Okay, so that's, that's why we're doing it. Then at the end, this is the scarcity urgency closeout sequence that you normally would put at the end of any webinar. Okay, so for Saturday and then for Sunday, and so it's all the sequences that's pushing them out and then Monday at midnight and then bam, it's done. Does that make sense? So I'm creating a lot of noise, tons of noise, lots and lots of noise right now. Uh, my email list is over 15,000 people for, for, for my offer business, which is great. And I'm, I mean, I'm pinging all of them. You know, we're, we're hitting all cylinders on this um, so that these three days right here, uh, they're watching me film my course, but uh, they're also able to get it for free if they get an offer mine ticket. And then I will literally, it's not a joke, I will literally take it off. No one else will get it. It's, it's, the beauty of this is that it's true urgency and scarcity. I hate fake scarcity and urgency, right? It's stupid. And uh, so anyways, this is real. And so they'll have the opportunity to go through and, and grab that. It's reactive to what they're saying, but also proactive for what I know I need to teach them. And then inside there is a webinar selling them on the next thing in the value ladder, which is come to offer mine. We only have seats for 1,038 people, and there's already way over that for the waiting list. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So I'm documenting this right now as we go, and uh, I'll check in with you guys here probably Thursday um, to just check in and tell you guys how things are going. And then what I want to do is probably coming up on the next Tuesday or whatever, I'll film the remainder of this to tell you guys what happened and how successful it was. And uh, I'll be open, okay? If it didn't work, I'll tell you it didn't work, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So uh, anyway... That's it. Guys, uh, appreciate it. Go to OfferMind.com. And if you guys want me to be developing these kind of strategies in your business, go to MyOfferLab.com. MyOfferLab.com is where uh, you get my time and expertise in your own business. All right, guys, I'm going to stop this now and I'll be back in just a few days. Well, what is going on? Sales Funnel Radio. Welcome to part two of me documenting the seven day launch for the OfferMind event funnel. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm not going to lie. I'm so freaking tired. I got one of those aura rings and uh, I was looking at the stats of it. Uh, I spent 800 calories just teaching today. And yesterday I think was like close to 1300. It was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so what's happened is uh, my, you can probably hear my voice. Yesterday I did a two, little over two hour session. After that was two and a half hours. Um, today, this morning was two hours and 45 minutes and then i just finished another two and a half hour one it's like two and a half something like that it's a lot okay so i, I mean that on top of doing one funnel away challenge at the same time it's like oh my gosh i am wrecked so here's what was supposed to happen is i was supposed to go so i've had to call a few um a few audibles throughout this okay and uh that's always expected you know anything you launch ever so this is actually let me just bring you through um let me just bring you through the setup real quick here. Okay, so check this out. Look at that. So we don't... <laughs> the first time I watched Russell go through and create and do a seven-day launch, he uh, had this amazing camera crew and there was all these people running around over the place. There's this big old crew going down, right? And it was awesome. It was really impressive. We have um, a picnic table that's sitting on some boxes and my laptop sitting on top of it right there. <laughs> The room is wrecked because we had to restructure it real fast. Uh, and then we I'm looking at the camera here, so make sure you get to see it. Then we got these ring lights, this like backdrop light over there, another light that's just pointing into the corner, so it looks kind of like level on the actual sales funnel radio backdrop. Um, <laughs> it's been kind of cool <laughs> to do it that way. Um, so anyways, that's, that's what our setup has been here. So we have a boom arm that's being held by a bunch of weights from the basement or from uh, the garage. Um, that's what's weighing it down. And the little clamp on the side wasn't quite big enough. That's my actual podcasting or my computer mic that's usually over on my desk over there. This place is wrecked, okay? You guys are gonna be like, man, he's a freaking pig. In the middle of launches, yes, I stop adhering to general uh, um, cleanliness standards, okay? In the middle of launch, like you do all sorts of crazy stuff, right? You go the extra mile to make sure crap happens. So anyways, that's where we've been. So anyways, we've been doing that, um, yeah. Uh, what we just finished up, I w what I just did right now is supposed to go through and I was supposed to launch um, the actual OfferMind ticket funnel. But as we started going through and looking at the last few things needed in order to actually finish it, I, I was like, there's no, there's too many small particulars for me to launch this comfortably right now. Which means, again, I'm only going to sleep a few hours. 
because I'm going to go finish the event funnel. Now I have a funnel team. What I'm finishing is that last 20% that sucks to finish. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, anyway, so these, these are my notes on what I need to finish for the offer mine funnel. <laughs> and there's a lot. And usually the way I do it, this is actually how I started doing it when I was sitting next to Russell, is I would take a piece of paper out and I would draw the funnel. And then in a different color or some other way, inside of each of the pages, inside each of the boxes, I would write down what I've noticed needs still to get finished before it's actually ready. And so that's kind of the pattern I would go through as I would do this. Well, I've done the same thing for the offer mine funnel. And uh, as I started going through it, I was just like, there's just no way I can launch this comfortably. There's too many small particulars. Um, if I just go one more step further, it'll make it easy for us to manage, right? And that's, I, I really want that. So anyways, this has been the setup, right? Like this. I go, hey, what's up? Offer my masterclass, you better come, blah, 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 right? And I'm just teaching, teaching, teaching. I just barely brought them through how I de uh, develop and design a sales message and offer at the same time using my core offer model, Xavier. Um, and yeah. Uh, that's where we are. So I was, so like when I watched Russell do the seven day launch, um, session uh, four was when he did his big drop, but I need one more night, guys. I got to finish just these last few pieces here. I'm hustling hard to finish it. Um, and, and, and even then, like I'm in the simplification phase of funnel launching, you know, where you're like, I'm going to do this. 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 And I'm in the phase now where I'm like, okay, that was a cool idea, but it's completely unrealistic now. Like we are under the gun, right? And that's too much. We are under the gun. And let's take that down. It's cool, but we'll do a little later. Let's hide all those elements so no one knows they're there and we can finish them later and launch it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's totally what we're doing right now. And that's exactly how we're, how we're handling it. So anyway, so uh, I just brought them through all the stuff. It, there's no glare in the actual thing. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's been OfferMindMasterclass.com. So the first three sessions were just deep dive teaching. And then I was like, let's go, you know, in between in that one hour break break I've given myself each day, let's finish the event funnel. That's completely unrealistic. So <laughs> we're like, you know what? We're going to do it tomorrow morning. Um, so the third segment, the little installment I do of recording uh, and kind of documenting my journey here, I'll be able to tell you guys, hey, I did the drop. I did the launch. Um, what was kind of ninja is on the OfferMind Masterclass, as I'm teaching them how to go create a sales message and an offer, I used... Um, the example of let's gather, let's act like I'm trying to pitch you guys into coming to OfferMind. <laughs> and that was it. It's like, here's, here's uh, wealth and uh, I'm selling into the ClickFunnels space. I'm saying you guys should come to OfferMind because it'll accelerate your output with ClickFunnels uh, like crazy. And I was like, let's, let's act like that's the scenario here. So what false beliefs would you guys have if I said you should come to OfferMind? <laughs> and then in the middle of it, I was breaking and rebuilding their beliefs throughout the whole thing. It was awesome. And uh, about halfway through it, someone was like, wait, you're, you're doing this on us right now. And I was like, ha, gotcha. So anyways, a little, uh, few stats. And then I went through and I was given some other examples of offers and such. Uh, tomorrow though, for the actual drop, what I'll do is I'll take, I created an offer, of course, around getting just a general ticket for OfferMind. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, on the back of this whiteboard, I'm going to go tape up uh, pieces of paper that hide that offer. And I'm going to do literally a whiteboard webinar um, selling OfferMind. <laughs> which is going to be super cool. It's going to be using everything I've taught them to do up till this point. It's like this, this awesome culminating thing thus far, which is awesome. So anyways, I'm really pumped about it. It'll be really cool. Um, we have consistently on live with us 200 people every single session. It's been about that consistently. But what's fascinating is within like six hours afterwards, there's like another thousand views per, for, per thing. It's been crazy. Um, so there's been two sessions per day. Um, last night after the first day, right before I went to bed, um, I took the videos down at midnight because I said I would and I want there to be real scarcity and urgency. I hate fake scarcity and urgency. But what I did though is uh, as, there was 3,000 people who had watched 3,000 views from yesterday's two videos, which is pretty awesome. Um, as of like a month ago, there are more people on the waiting list for this event than there are seats in the room. That's crazy. Um, so I have a sneaking suspicion that when I launch this tomorrow, I don't know that it'll necessarily sell out in like a day kind of thing, but I think this event will actually sell out, which I am just super humbled about. So anyways, anyway, all I'm telling you guys is that if you're going to go in and do this kind of thing, it's totally helpful to all, all, this is all you need. You really just need a boom arm. <laughs> you need a boom arm. You need a box and, and you need a Colton and, uh, Coltons don't grow on trees. Look at him over there. <laughs> they just don't. Coltons don't grow on trees, everybody. 
Anyway, it's been super helpful. He's been moderating, kicking out all the psychos with small mind syndrome so that they get out of my life and my audience forever. <laughs> He's the heavy that kicks people out when they become jerks on the chat. Oh, this doesn't work. And I'm like, yeah, you're gone. Oh, you know, and anyway, I'm not even going to go there. But been helpful. Top takeaway from this so far? Oh, simplicity is key. Simplicity like, is key. Like, just the clarity that everything has come through with you teaching it to all these people like it just it just shows that it works you know oh it's been so fun cool stuff well i'll kick this camera back on here in probably about 24 48 hours and kind of document the aftermath of the whole thing so thanks for tuning in bye what's going on sales funnel radio hey uh i just wanted to check back in here this is part three of me documenting the seven day launch and uh i want to teach you guys i want to show you guys what happened um it was super successful <laughs> um and uh i just want to first of all tell you how it completely exhausted i was by the end i it took me two or three days to recoup and normally it wouldn't take me that long when i'm just going on like a stage or whatever but i mean this was really aggressive speaking and when it was all said and done i think i had spoken about 15 hours and um in three days <laughs> and uh and i was finishing a funnel in the evenings so it's not like i was like totally relaxing whatever i'd go sleep a few hours and then i would get back up super early to go finish the actual funnel so it was um it was a lot um but it was very successful so i'm actually gonna turn the camera around here and i'm gonna just walk through what actually happened um let me actually let me flip this around make sure it works here yeah okay check that out okay so this is between oops <laughs> i just touched the microphone uh, this is between, let me just get it to focus, focus. All right, this is between uh, the dates of uh, April 17th through April 14th, 2019, I'm sorry, 24th, 2019, 17th through the 24th. Uh, now you can look here at the stats and you can see, let me just make it a little bigger here. There we go. You can see the stats, you can see, I mean, it, it actually performed quite well. Everything that I was hoping would happen with it uh, uh, seemed to, uh, sorry, I was like kind of trying to, manhandle this camera just a little bit um what was here's what's interesting is the cart value was actually higher at the beginning of the launch towards the end of the launch that's when it actually started dropping off which is kind of fascinating so um it seems to have stabled somewhere around there which is pretty cool still so the actual um let me open up the actual i thought we need to share with you guys these these seats here um this is not the first time we launched these the offer of mine tickets either there's actually uh more tickets sold beyond that plus a bunch of others also so we're actually about double that as far as seats sold um and then i actually got a message from russell uh this morning which is really cool saying that uh, this was the seventh highest grossing funnel in all of click funnels yesterday which is really cool so uh it certainly worked and uh, we made a lot of noise big old splash so um there's actually four different ticket prices um uh and then a bump and if you look inside here, you can see that people who are who have a discount, um, so here's the discount ones right here across the bottom. What's interesting is not a lot of them take the discount. There's actually more people buying without the discount, which I thought was fascinating. Um, anyway, also on top of that, uh, these two right here, so it says bundle right where my fingers are right there. What that is, is that is a phone call that we're giving away for free with it. So they're putting in the information and we're going to chat with them. So significantly more people are choosing to get the phone call than without, right? Which makes sense. Um, it's actually funny to me when they say no. <laughs> uh, on a few of them, I'm just going to call them live. I thought it'd be kind of fun to call them live because um, I don't think they're expecting that. So uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, as far as the actual bump goes, which is them buying the funnel, this funnel cost me 17 grand to build. Um, only because I got a sick team and they're really good, which also means they're very expensive. So um, uh, they were able to buy the funnel um, for 147 bucks, which is really cool, and get the thing that cost me a lot. Um, I am shocked that's only 19%. I thought it would be closer to 30. Um, so it is a little bit lower than I thought it would be. And maybe it's just that we're so inundated with share funnels nowadays. I don't know. Um, but this is not a normal funnel. <laughs> so I don't know. I was a little bit uh, shocked by that, but eh, whatever. Um, let's see, looking at the VIP offer, VIPs are going quick. This is not reflective of the other VIP tickets that are already sold, uh, in the past. So that's pretty cool. 41% take rate. That's, that's pretty insane. Uh, that, that's pretty, pretty cool. And then also the capitalist pig, um, ad book. 
So there's an ad book that we're giving away, 13% uh, for a second OTO. It's actually not bad either. What I am gonna go do soon though, is I have a an additional product here on top of this. Uh, I don't have it turned on yet. It's a two pay option that will turn on uh, very soon. So I think that should also increase that. So anyway, so it's going well. Uh, and on top of that, I have a thank you page webinar. Um, so of the 88 people that, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 97, I should say 97 right there, uh, people who have bought a ticket, um, four have gone in and purchased, which is still pretty good. It's a $1,500 thing. They get a 50% off coupon with it, which is really cool. So anyways, it's been really, it's, it's been powerful. I'd say it's a pretty uh, powerful campaign that we ran. One thing that I will mention though, is that, um, uh, actually, let me flip this again here. Okay. One thing I will mention that's been fascinating is the moment the campaign was over, pretty much all buying stopped, right? And this just attests to the principle that if you buy it, they won't come, okay? That's like the stupidest line on the planet. Uh, I was doing some consulting with somebody and they 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 vehemently were, were very much about that phrase. You know, Stephen, if we just build it, we know they'll come. And I, I, I thought they were joking and I didn't know that they were dead serious and I started laughing. And I was like, yeah, wouldn't that be nice if that was true? <laughs> and I had no idea it was the CEO and like some of the major people of the company and I was straight up laughing at his face. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and then I explained myself, I said, that's not true. And like, it, it's, the tickets are still live, but the campaign's over, right? It, it, that goes to show, we got another sale today, which is great, but like one sale today versus like the 96 that came in in the last couple, like, I mean, and they're not small ticket prices either. I mean, right, that's almost six figures in a, um, actually with the other uh, funnel, that uh, that we've, we've collected well over six figures for this now, which is great. Um, it's a popular event. We're really excited about it. We got a lot of cool, um, we got a lot of cool people coming uh, to it, which will be be awesome. But uh, sorry, my camera over here is flashing. But uh, we got a lot of cool people that are coming to it. I mean, it's going to be really, really fun. We're excited about it. But like, it's just funny. The moment the campaign's over, the buying stops. It's still open. It's still up. Almost the exact same thing. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go do is, well, what other campaigns can we go run? We will definitely turn on ads. Uh, we will definitely do a summit. So I have offersummit.com. And I'm going to go get the big who's who of the whole industry to come in and teach us how they create their offers. It'll be really cool. I'm excited. That should be probably June and July-ish. Um, anyway, there's a lot of like smaller like micro things. I'm going to piggyback on the back of other uh, affiliate promotions. I'm going to, um, there's a lot of, there's secrets. I don't want to tell you guys everything. <laughs> just watch, okay? Watch what I'm doing. But uh, it's just fascinating. It's just, it's just really pushed back to the lesson of like, hey, you know, we, we, the moment the campaign's over, it also stopped the sales. Uh, still up, you know what I mean? It's just, that's buying behavior. And so when someone's like, I don't know if I want to do scarcity urgency, I'm like, well, be prepared to not sell anything, right? It's just part of it. Um, it's very fascinating. So anyway, um, as far as uh, live, uh, we had, there was always about 200 people, the same 200 people on with me every session. But by the time 12 hours had passed, it had been watched almost 2,000 times per video, which was really cool. Um, people loved it. They ate it up. Um, I had a lot of big friends who are larger than I am, you know, reach out. They're like, what is it that you're doing? Because I got a lot of people I respect reaching out, asking about it, which is really cool. It was fun. It was validating, you know. So anyways, it went really, really well. And uh, we got a lot of noise from it. Uh, everyone and their mom heard about it, which is great. Um, yeah, so we did a seven day launch to launch tickets, which I haven't seen anyone do that. So I was excited about it and it was a lot of fun. Uh, it, was, it was hard, <laughs> but it's one of the easiest campaigns to run. Energy wise, it was challenging because it's you teach like crazy, right? But uh, it was still one of the, it was still one of the easiest things for me to go pull off. Um, it's a single page funnel, right? 1800 people, I believe, ended up joining the list for it. Um, that's awesome, right? It's huge. 30% of the traffic that was coming to it was from shared referred traffic, not my list. We found that out by using UpViral. Um, really cool, right? So it not only did it expand the list, it expanded those seeing me. The one thing that was weird was that since it was on YouTube, it was actually a lot of people who are not normally my audience. And I think that if I would have done it off of Facebook, um, I would have gotten more of the hot audience to buy. So what's cool though, is like almost a almost hundred people of the 200 who were on with me bought. That's a pretty good sale rate, right? That's pretty, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, once we finished the actual training, we went through a three day urgency scarcity closeout period where what you normally would do on like a webinar. 
And that really, uh, just as I was expected, right? The cart opened and boom, big old blast of sales. And then kind of nothing on day two, which is usually what happens. <laughs> and then day three, it's like, shoosh, like another huge amount of sales coming in. But anyways, it was fun. It was cool. I learned a lot from it. It was great. Uh, we definitely will do it again. Um, highly effective way to teach, but also sale at the same time. Most of the time, webinars don't have that, li that luxury. Um, teaching is a liability inside of a webinar, usually, right? Usually. So... It was cool to be able to pull both of that off. So anyways, cool stuff, guys. Um, if you guys, um, um, anyway, I'd love to have you guys come to offer mine. Pretty awesome. We got, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> you know what? I'll bring certain people on the show as well and introduce a lot of the speakers to you. Um, I am now actively, and hopefully they see this, I'm actively going to go and big, big giants, absolute killer giants like Mark Joyner and Bill Glazer to come speak. I don't know if they're going to yet, but this is me calling my shot before they've said yes. <laughs> so in the next month here, by the time this goes out and you guys start seeing it, hopefully they said yes by now. So anyway, <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you could, please rate it. Um, that would be really helpful. Go to sjlreview.com, sjlreview.com. Also, come to Offermind. Uh, we, we, it's still four months away or whatever, and we, we've we already sold a, a significant number of tickets. So it is a fast-selling event that people actually attend. What I can't stand is when people say, like, oh, there's going to be so many people there. And you show up, there's like 50 people in the event. And you're like, oh, okay. Uh, for whatever reason, numbers is a, I don't know, it feels good to me, right? It's safety in numbers. Uh, so anyways, please know a lot of people attend this event. It's awesome. Um, and uh, love to have you. So go to offermind.com and join us. Thanks, guys. Bye. Boom. If you're just starting out, you're probably studying a lot. That's good. You're probably geeking out on all the strategies also, right? That's also good. But the hardest part is figuring out what the market wants to buy and how you should sell it to them, right? That's also what I struggled with for a while until I learned the formula. So I created a special mastermind called an offer mind to get you on track with the right offer and more importantly, the right sales script to get it off the ground and sell it. Want to come? There's small groups on purpose so I can answer your direct questions in person for two straight days. You can hold your spot by going to OfferMind.com. Again, that's OfferMind.com.